Hi Gemini, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now this is the uh, life after the retrograde specials. Let's take a look. If this is your final destiny, have you met the final one or the, the right one? Is this your real soulmate or could be that you only have some karmic connections? Or will there still be, you know, something that you can look forward to in the future? Let's take a look. Well, you pretty much lived in the uh, right in the middle of the woods. You have talent in music and arts. You used to be a well. You're good in playing music. You have the gift of uh, wisdom. You are carrying that outrage from your past life. And you were once an Atlantean. One from the... Uh, from Europe, Eastern. And one in Asia. Okay, the thing here is, you were born on, let's say, outside, okay, around the nature. And you were only like, um, you know, your parents are actually cast away, or they have been casted out of the city for being so different or odd. And you were raised this way. Um, you're very close to nature. You even understand trees, animals. You have that um, different way of communicating with the nature. And you can definitely understand them. Okay? You have the talent. Even though that you've... Um, you have a very different kind of living. Or d you have a different... Uh, you know, like a difficult life among others. You have tried to enjoy your life being a child, you know, um, the way you could. And, uh, you know, you made it as fun as you could. And you don't really pay much attention to what other people are going to say. Even though, you know, partly as a child, you feel like something is missing or something's just awfully wrong because you feel so odd among other kids and among other people. You never let that become an obstacle to you or you never let that become more of a hindrance okay while you were growing up and you you became more of an adult as a like a very strong willed and a very independent person you're very religious and you do have some talent in music and arts and i feel like it's more of a, you have a very good vocals okay rather than playing music you also love playing wind um the wind instruments okay like har uh, sorry like um harmonica uh flute and uh the other one um every time that you don't have anything to do you just climb on a tree you know and uh, sit on a, in a branch and feel the wind Look what's above the, you know, look what's above you. And you appreciate the, uh, the top of the trees and even look at the mountains. And you always dream of um, creating something different and waiting for tomorrow. Okay. And even though at that point, mm, I feel like nobody have, uh, you know, they haven't even invented the time or the watch. You can tell the time. With this, with how the sun are, you know, like pointing, and even your, um, you're actually a person that's full of positivities, and you don't really look into life's uncertainties or unfairness. But then, until the time comes that you have volunteered in the city or you know in the nearby town to to be a helper and to serve the. Um, to serve the church as well. It's not really a church, but it's more of a center or it's a place that is being run and being uh, operated by the church or friars and uh, nuns. And 
you're good in counting okay and you're also good in keeping money however you've always have this issue with your father you know that you've uh, always see your father as a very weak person or have a very weak personality low in self-confidence just because that people think or seem that they are a little bit odd for some reason you know maybe it's um, how they look or you know their height or something like that there's something about your parents that people sees it as a as a very different thing or like a very odd creature during that time and you don't really get along with your father because your father is um, very aloof he, he, you know, he doesn't even want to see he, himself in the reflection of the water. There's no mirror before then. And uh, the only way for people to look into their reflection is through water. Now... Here... When you have volunteered to be one of the soldiers or to be one of the... Uh, uh, fighters during the war this was the time that your father is already gone or no longer around and your mother really was really afraid of you or, re or afraid for you um, at the age of 21st or early 20s you have managed to move back to the town okay along with your mother after burying your father and as part of that, you feel like your father did not really do anything to improve your li improve your lives, okay, or improve your family. And you also have another sibling, but then it did not really cover up much here. But then you are the one who sacrificed so much for your family, for your mother, because you love your mother so much, and uh, so is your siblings. And your father died without you forgiving him, okay. And you were also born as a male and female in your different lives or different past lives. The other one, you died through the ships or uh, through the big body of water. You have that big phobia. Or you're so afraid of swimming or you're so afraid of falling into, into the sea or ocean. The other one is you died through transportation. You even reach up to, you know, your other past life. You even reach up to Asia. So... As far as your spouse is concerned, because right now you, for Gemini men, you're so afraid of committing, you're so afraid of being a father, even before, okay, for those who already have a child or for those who already have some kids, you were so afraid of being a parent or there's something about commitment or marriage that, that really scares you because you're so afraid of not being the person that your spouse will be expecting you to be. Because you have this intense memory, you have this heavy grudge that you're still carrying from one past life to another. About not being able to be raised by a very strong person or a strong man, you know, uh, that is supposedly to be your father. Now, there are two people, okay, in your life right now. But you will be leaving your soulmate or your current spouse because of somebody that you will be meeting which you will have some karmic connection because in your past life when you've had some problems with your health you were you were taken care of by somebody okay which is this is your uh, first soulmate and even though you have gone through a lot of strife and a lot of um, struggles and you have survived okay you're always a survivor in life right after getting well okay this person who have helped you to get well to to walk again and to be whole again this part of them despite of this person being so kind to you you did not really marry this person but then you have fallen for someone else who is much more flamboyant and more out there very you know this person loves to dance more you know and, and then as she captures attention of the public and she's also very gracious and good looking and uh, when she dances everyone really stops and even the time you know even time also stops whenever she dances and moves her body and this is the person who have captured your heart 
Now you ignored the person who have cared for you and who's been there for you during your tough times and during the times that you were unable to move and that you were so sick when some when you know when everyone else have abandoned you and left you to die and this is the only person who picked you up and really you know stayed by your side until that you're already well and when you're already well and you're okay right after a few years you couldn't really give yourself or your heart or your all to this person and in just one swoop you know when you saw this damsel when you saw this woman who's a very gracious dancer you feel like this is the one that you really wanted to be with and you have ended up hurting hurting the one who cared the most for you even though their fate has been unknown or it did not really you know the cards have not shown um, whatever happened to your first soulmate, but you have broken someone else's heart, okay? For somebody who's not even, you, that you don't even know. Now, you have run away and you have lived, you know, and even married this, uh, this other dancer or this other entertainer. And right after a few years that you've had a child, she values materialism more than love. And she took off with someone else and left you with your kid or left you with your child. That this is the moment that you were so afraid of most because you're so afraid of being a parent or you're so afraid of becoming like your father. All right. And during the time you're all the old and uh, you don't even know what to do because uh, you got married at a very later, at a very late age, sorry, or later in your life. And you don't really have that much experience in taking care of infants or babies and right after that that is the only time that you have remembered your father okay all the things that he did not do for you all the things that he hadn't done for for your family and you know the things that he did not really do for your mother this is the first time that you have seen yourself in the you know in the in the place of your father and this is where you also start thinking that you should you, you should have forgiven your father right before he passed away because then with a the baby that is already right in your right in your hands that is the only time that you will you know that you will feel that that is how you will be repaying all those debts, all those karmic debts. So you will be dealing, or you are dealing with three types of karma or karmic debts, okay, in your present life. One is that you never really valued those people who's been there for you during those times that you were like nobody or that you were still in a basic stage of your life. Second, that you should know how to care and then um, you should also know how to forgive okay and third you need to it's like you also need to learn how to attach and um, you know commit yourself in a relationship or to somebody who values you the most and don't fall for somebody who's just whom you feel like is shining because not all that glitters are gold okay so this is your main lesson in this lifetime you think that the you know the for the true love is in the form of somebody that is or something that shines or something that stands out and not in the form of someone who has a very you know big heart or golden heart and uh, someone is very humble enough to give you unconditional care and love you need to free yourself up from those grudges of the past and you also need to learn how to forgive and forget and move on and move forward and let karma do its own course in someone else you also need to make the effort in a relationship because you easily devalues or you easily forgets those people who's been there for you or who sticks around you you know during those times that, that uh, you're nobody and you can't really do anything and when you're already able to you tend to just you know just neglect all those people's efforts in your life to get you where you are right now you also need to keep the love alive by expressing yourself and not just through sex you need to keep an open mind 
and heal some family issues because even until at this point there are you, you also have some issues with your father you also need to love yourself express yourself you know in a relationship and don't codepend because at this point some gemini's only stay in a relationship just because that they are so afraid of being alone or they are so afraid of staying or starting all over again and you also need to let go of control issues because you're naturally very you know you play detective sometimes you um you're very suspicious of, of other people or mostly you know to other people and you it's like you are in constant doubt okay to other people it's so hard for you to trust it's so hard for you to give yourself it's so hard for you to give that friendship that commitment that relationship okay even to yourself and you also need to learn how to keep the passion alive and you know and burning in a relationship that right after for some time when you get bored in a relationship you're just going to take off and look for someone who is you feel like it's you know it's shining so you need to learn how to be a little bit more contented okay and your issues are coming from your innate childhood or from your inner childhood or from your past life childhood that you need to learn how to forgive somebody that if you don't want to turn out exactly the way they are you also have to learn how to forgive and you know let them be and be who you are or be who you are destined to be so for those who's with the Gemini right now you know for some if you feel like they are exactly like this then you should know what is the root cause of their problem and where are they coming from because it's so easy to judge as somebody like oh my god you're such a narcissist just you're like this you're like that you're a sociopath you don't have any heart you know you're so cruel and mean and stuff like that it's so easy to judge somebody and to pass on some harsh words but without getting down into the psychological root cause or problems of individuals so at least now that you'll have an idea how to you know how to resolve their inner conflicts and how to understand them as well in a relationship all right anyway that's it for you for this retrograde gemini if you want to have this kind of uh, reading, you know, just go and visit me at my website, sophieangel.net. You may also talk to me live on the phone or live video calls. All right. Thank you. And um, thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel. Blessings to you.